Hey everyone, welcome to your Density Virtual Lab. You are going to be doing the lab today, not watching videos. So you're going to click on this link right here and it will open up in a new tab. I use my Duale's extension to make a whole new window and have a nice side by side so I can read what to do as it tells as I am doing the lab in this tab right here. In order to get the lab to work, you have to click this blue launch button right here in the center. It will open up this lovely little window and voila, you have everything you need to do the lab with. Okay, very important that we turn our fluid to water. Water has a density of one gram per milliliter and it's a standard for what we have. And we're gonna be determining the density of gold, lead, foam, rubber, and a mystery substance today. So the gold, you want to take this gold bar from the bottom of the beaker and place it onto the scale. And it tells you the mass in grams. Okay, notice that the beaker starts at 25.5 milliliters. And when you add the gold bar to it, it will increase in volume. This is called water displacement. And you can use this displacement in order to determine what the volume of the gold is going to be and also then what the density is going to be. Okay, the same thing is true for the lead. You can weigh it and then drag it back over in order to determine what the volume will be. Foam, ooh, that's different. The foam is going to float in the water. So you need to take it out and determine the mass and then hold on it, click on it as you pull it down to the bottom. If you don't completely submerge it, it will not give you the proper volume. Okay, rubber will sink, so that will work. And then you'll determine what the mystery substance is going to be. Okay, so remember your initial volume is always 25.5 milliliters. The fluid density is one gram per milliliter. And you can use this to determine the density of any of these substances. Okay, so follow this um, Google form and have fun. If at any time you need to reset it and click this button here, you always have to turn the fluid into water and click on one of these substances over on the right-hand side. Have fun. Email me if you have any questions.